Video three of four of the County Health Department Nikon Eclipse E100 Microscope Introduction Series. This video will cover cleaning the Nikon Eclipse E100 Microscope. I am Ashley Meglin. I'm a technical consultant for the Alabama County Health Department Laboratory System. So the first thing that we're going to discuss is going to be the microscope maintenance chart. This is our microscope maintenance chart and you are going to receive a new one of these and it will either come from your technical consultant or it will be in the box with the microscope. Um, it's already been partially filled out. Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays are marked off. Down here at the bottom for the monthly maintenance, you will also see that the months that you did not have the microscope yet are marked with NA. Also at the top will be the health department that this microscope is located in, then the year and the property number, and also the manufacturer of the microscope and the model of the microscope. Down here at the bottom you will see the annual maintenance. Uh, Delta Optical Instruments is who we purchased these microscopes from. They are the vendor and not applicable is written on the previous year because these microscopes did not exist then and then the date that your microscope was cleaned here at the state laboratory is written on this date and this will be approximately the same time that it is due for 2020. All right. The other sheet that I'm going to encourage you to get a hold of is going to be the this sheet and this is cleaning the microscope. This can be found on the Lotus Notes document library. When you have it arranged by category you're going to look under laboratory and this is going to be under a heading listed as wet mount and microscope. So this is going to follow along with all the things that we're going to cover today in this video in written form with pictures. So I would go ahead and grab a hold of this and follow along. The first thing that we're going to cover for is going to be our daily maintenance and that's going to be cleaning the optical surfaces of our microscope. The optical surfaces of our microscope are going to be any of the glass lenses of our microscope and of those we have the eyepieces also known as the oculars. We have the objectives of which there are two on this microscope. We have the condenser, you can see the lens through the top of my stage here and the last one is going to be the field lens where the light source comes from. So we're going to clean, we're going to stop, start from the top of our microscope and clean from the top down. We're going to use uh, swabs and our lens cleaner that is for use with microscope lenses. So I'm going to take a swab and I'm going to moisten my swab with lens cleaner. Just going to get a couple of drops and you don't want to oversaturate the swab, we just want it moist. Before you start, you're going to want to unplug your microscope. I almost forgot. We don't want to be applying liquids to a plugged in microscope. All right. So we're going to start with our eyepieces and we're going to take our swab that's been moistened and we're going to start in the center of the eyepiece and we're going to work in a circular fashion with gentle pressure all the way to the out, outer edge of our eyepiece lens. We don't want to go back over a surface that we have already cleaned. We want to clean this like a wound. So I have now wiped that. I'm going to take a piece of my lens paper. and I'm going to buff off, buff it dry, and remove the water spots. That looks good. I'm going to take my swab, and I may need to put another drop on it, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other eyepiece. Start in the center, work in an outward fashion to the outer edge, making sure to not go over a part I've already cleaned. And then I'm going to 
use my dry paper to buff it dry and make sure that I've removed all the water spots. And that also looks good. All right, the next place that we are going to clean is going to be the objectives. So I'm gonna turn my nose piece using the revolving nose piece ring and I'm going to rotate it to where I can easily get to my objective. If your stage is up, if it's close, you may want to rotate it downward to get better access to your objectives. So I'm gonna take my moistened swab and I'm gonna clean the lens at the end in a circular fashion. I'm also gonna clean the metal edge to it because I don't, just in case anything corrosive has gotten onto, I wanna make sure that we get it all. Again, I'm gonna take my dry lens paper and I'm going to pat it dry and give it a tiny little rub just to make sure I got all the liquid off. I'm gonna rotate my nose piece until I've gotten to the other objective, easier to get to. I'm gonna do the same thing. You may need to re-moisten your swab. All right, make sure I get it good and wiped there. And then I'm gonna take my dry paper again and I'm just going to buff it off and make sure I got all the liquid off. Okay. I'm going to moisten my swab again. And you may find it easier to actually use a piece of lens paper for this part. So I'm gonna get a piece of lens paper. I'm gonna use it instead of my swab. And I'm going to put a couple of drops of lens cleaner on this. And I'm going to clean the lens right here in a circular fashion. If you have a hard time getting to the lens through the stage, you may want to adjust your the height of your condenser with the use of this lever that adjusts the condenser height. Then I wanna take a dry piece of paper and I'm going to buff the top and remove the water spots again. And the last lens that we're going to clean is going to be the field lens at the bottom. So we're going to take our moist paper and I'm gonna put one more drop on this. All right, and then I'm going to again work in a circular fashion and clean my lens down here at the bottom. Take my dry paper and buff that dry and make sure that I got all the water spots off. I think we are good. When you're finished cleaning, you wanna make sure that you have left either an open position on your revolving nose piece in the home position. And when I say home position, I'm referring to the position that is right over the condenser. So if you have an open spot on your revolving nose piece, leave the open spot over in the home position. If you don't have an open spot, this is a different microscope, don't have an open spot on your revolving nose piece, then leave the lowest powered objective in that spot because it's also going to be the shortest one. The reason we do that is to avoid a collision, possibly in case the microscope gets bumped, uh, the collision of the objective with the stage and the condenser lens as well. Now, the, the one of the last things that we do for our daily maintenance is that we have to cover our microscope. So we're gonna use our brand new nylon cover and we are going to cover our microscope for the day. This is a dust cover and it's going to help to keep dust off our microscope because dust is not our friend. It will get into the working parts of the microscope and gum it up. Okay, now on our microscope maintenance chart, you will find the day that you just did the cleaning and you're going to check the top box saying that you cleaned the optical surface, check. Then I'm going to check that I covered the microscope when not in use, check. 
and then I'm going to put my initials in the bottom box. If you didn't use the microscope for the day because there was nobody there or uh, to, do, to use it or you didn't have a family planning day, that sort of thing, then you're gonna use NIU for the space on that day. There should never be any spaces on your charts that generally shows that something got missed. So it wasn't used, wasn't cleaned because nobody used it that day, you're gonna write NIU. And the Saturdays and Sundays and holidays are already filled in for you. You won't have to do that. All right. So some things that you need to worry about or be concerned about when you are cleaning the microscope is that we need to prevent uh, damage to the optical surfaces. Uh, one thing that we're gonna do is we're not going to excessively rub any of these lenses. There are iridescent coatings on the lenses and you can rub that off. So do, no excessive rubbing. We're not going to breathe on the optical surfaces. I know some of us clean our eyeglasses by going <sighs> but we're not going to use our breath to help us clean the optical surfaces. We're going to avoid wiping our lenses with dry lens paper or dry swabs. And one of the important things that we need to consider is that we need to use the lens paper that is intended for use with microscopes. Some places do have access to chem wipes and chem wipes are made from wood pulp. They also have silica added to them and silica will scratch your lenses and remove the iridescent coating. So we wanna make sure that we are using uh, lens paper that is intended for use with microscopes. And then last but not least, we wanna make sure that we're using a lens cleaner that is intended for use with microscopes and not Windex or 409 or eyeglass cleaner. Um, this is quite a bit more uh, sensitive than eyeglasses. So we wanna make sure that we are using microscope lens cleaner. Okay.